Welcome to another episode and this week we're going to take a picture of the moon because there's no sports. Anyway, I was just outside and the moon was giant and the April moon is known as the pink moon and it's also a super moon and this is going to be the largest moon of 2020. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab my equipment, I'm going to get a 70 to 200 a 200 to 400 with the 1.4 extender built in and a 400 millimeter and I'm going to take exactly three pictures and I'm going to use the exact same settings for all three photos and then we're going to come in and edit and look at how each of them looks different. Now I'm going to use a 5D Mark IV that's a pretty good camera but it doesn't matter. I wish it was actually a crop sensor because that would make the moon a little closer. Here are the settings. F11 and I'm going to shoot 200 um, ISO and 200 sh shutter speed. What that is is the Looney 11, so F11, and then whatever your shutter speed is, whatever you set that to, set your ISO to the exact same number. So 800, 800, 100, 100, 200, 200, and always put your f-stop at 11. And we're going to take exactly three pictures, and I bet they're going to, I haven't even tried. I don't even have my gear set up. I'm going to set it up. I'm going to go outside and take three pictures and it will be perfect because the Looney 11 rule works like a champ. Let's prove it. So let's go outside. Okay, so here we are outside. Got my camera and uh, look at that right over there is the moon. It's pretty hard to see with this little wide angle guy, but uh, we got our settings on right here. Uh, we'll just take one shot. Focus. Actually, I gotta fix something real quick here. I had it on uh, a timer as I was doing some product photos. All right, here we go. One shot. There it is. Now we're gonna switch lenses and do it with the next one. Okay, here we are. Got the 200 to 400 with the uh, built-in 1.4. Just took the lens off of the 70 to 200 with the 2x on it and put it right on here. We're going to take one picture. There it is. So focus. One picture. Oh, look at that. That's look how small it is, though. Oh, that's going to look good. All right, now we got the 400 mil with the 2x extender. One shot. This one's heavy, so I'm glad that the full moon there, the super moon, pink moon, is in the lower in the horizon, so I can actually get this thing steady. Oh, there she is. Oh boy. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at the difference on that thing. Oh, look how much bigger that is. Oh yeah, that's money. Okay, here we are back inside, so let's get these pictures and do some editing. Okay, the disc is in. They're my three images. Actually, there's four, and let me tell you why. So let's import them first. Then we'll go in and take a look at these things. We're going to develop mode right away. All right, for our first image, the 70 to 200 with the 2x, the 400 millimeter. And then the next one, I did my 200 to 400 with the built-in 1.4. Look at that. I, I didn't zoom in to 400 millimeter, so it was at 280. And then I noticed that as I was looking at them. Uh, the next one, this is the 400 millimeter at uh, with the 2x added on, so it's 800 millimeter. And then here's the uh, 200 to 400 at 400 with the 1.4 built-in extender enabled. So... We're at 560. So these are the three we want. I'm actually going to remove that one. Let's remove that photo right from the disk. I'm going to delete it. I don't want it. All right, so here's our three. So what we're going to do is we're going to crop all of them the same. And I'm going to do these at 16 by 9. Uh, that way we're, you know, what we would do for a video. I'd normally do a square. Uh, so we'll, we'll just a little bit on each side of that. And then I think uh, what we'll do is just do a little clarity on here, clarify them. I like a dehaze that, that helps with the colors on there too. And there it is, uh, one shot. So let's do it to the other ones. Copy from the previous. 
Whoa, look at that. Look how much tighter that was compared to the other. Let's go to the next one. Copy from previous. You can also use the sync button. You can copy all three of them and edit all of them at the same time. Uh, this way it copies everything, including my uh, cropping. And there we are, pretty close. Kind of whipping through these, and there it is. It's got the same on each one of those. Here we go. Which one looks best? I don't know. If I were to change things, I think I would uh, go through and uh, I, I would have used a tripod. Maybe not as crisp as the you know some that I've used in the past or done in the past because I was lifting these up by hand. I mean, that, that's a huge camera that I'm lifting up that 400 millimeter with the 2X on it. You know, that's why I had to go to 1000 on my shutter speed. I probably could have done a little more. Ideally, I would have put these on a tripod and, and done a 100 by 100 at uh, f11. Got a little uh, better quality on the, uh, you know, some of the craters on there. I've, I've taken way better pictures than these, but uh, I still think these are pretty cool for, you know, spending uh, 10 minutes to take three pictures and switch my lenses. Okay, so there it was. I hope that was fun. Did a really quick edit. I love videos like this. Just took me an hour to do this and you know it was fun go out there take some pictures of the moon i probably would have used a tripod but it's kind of fun doing it that way too see you next time thank you have a good night it is night because you know full moon why not see you here's that picture hey what about the guy who first landed on the moon he said one small step for man i would have just said oh my god i'm on the moon <laughs>